So assessing water quality. So certain types of aquatic organisms can help you tell how safe or uh, what type of water, what type of water it is. So for example, uh, certain bacteria could cause diseases in the water. So aquatic as well as terrestrial organisms need oxygen. So uh, aquatic organisms get their oxygen from the water. Uh, so uh, aquatic ecosystems get their oxygen from diffusion, aeration, and photosynthesis. So diffusion is just oxygen entering the water. Aeration is the movement of water and it traps the oxygen in and photosynthesis from aquatic plants. Uh, dissolved oxygen measurements show how much oxygen is in the water and if oxygen were to drop a certain amount, below a certain amount, uh, less organ organisms will be able to survive. Biological oxygen demand is a measure of how fast oxygen is used. And pollution uh, is very bad for oxygen within the water. So if there's pollution, it can nurture uh, small organisms, which use uh, oxygen faster. And, and it also has toxic effects which cause, and both of these uh, side effects cause a lot of organisms to die. So, acidity, aquatic organisms want a more neutral environment, which is not too acidic or alkaline. If acidity were to increase, the biodiversity would drop and most organisms die around pH of 4.5. So the pH of aquatic or ecosystems could be affected by a lot of stuff, like fed rock and soil composition, decomposition of organic material, chemicals and minerals, and acidic So limestone can neutralize acidity, uh, and organic decomposition releases carbon dioxide, which creates a very weak acid, which is carbonic acid, but eventually it will build up over time, causing acidity to increase. And minerals such as iron sulfide combines with the water to create sulfuric acid, as well as certain chemicals dumped and acidic precipitation, they can affect the city. And average seawater is, as average seawater pH is around 8.2. Phosphorus and nitrogen, these are main ingredients of fertilizers and they're applied to plants to help them grow. When it's watered, it dissolves and it runs off into local waters. With uh, high levels of these nutrients within the water, algae grows faster and this is called eutrophication and algal bloom. 
and as algae dies and decomposes, oxygen is taken away from water, which kills off most organisms. Heavy metals. So small amounts of, he of certain metals can cause illness if they're in the water. So mercury, which is a heavy metal, and heavy metals are metals with a density higher than uh, five grams. Sorry, you can't see this. And these heavy metals are usually emitted from coal-fired power plants, incinerators, steel mills, from their smokestacks. And there are also other heavy metals such as these. These. And they're released by industrial processes. So algae absorbs these, these tiny amounts of metals and eventually it builds up. And this is called bioaccumulation. Bio and algae is eaten by zooplankton, which accumulate in their tissue. And as it accumulates into each trophic level, the concentration of the heavy metal increases. And this is called biomagnification. just a diagram to help explain. So this is the amount in water. This is the this is the amount that will get taken from zooplankton. All the zooplankton uh, concentration increases into a fish. And then as they're eaten by bigger bigger fish, it accumulates uh, accumulates and accumulates. All right, so pesticides are chemicals that kill unwanted organisms. These organisms are usually the ones that attack any crops. Uh, pesticide, there are some pesticides that are long lasting, but, they're usually, but they are banned or controlled in Canada. Uh, pesticides can also biomagnify, such as heavy metals light heavy metals. So an example of a long-lasting pesticide was DDT. It was used in Canada until the 70s and it accumulated into the peregrine falcon, which almost made it extinct. However, uh, long-lasting pesticides uh, aren't banned worldwide because their benefits may exceed its uh, risks in certain situations. So for example, in Africa, they spray pesticide to kill off mosquitoes, which give it malaria. So DDT still has some risk, but its benefits still outweigh it. And most pesticides nowadays only last one growing season.